Well, Canada is banning the manufacturing and import of single-use plastics by the end of the year in a major effort to combat plastic waste and address climate change. The ban will cover items like checkout bags, cutlery, straws and food service uh, that were made from or containing plastics that are hard to recycle. Well, for more on this, we are joined by Jackie Rushlow, the founder of the Keep Refillery. Thank you so much for joining us this morning, Jackie. Obviously, there's a lot to take in here, especially whether you're a consumer uh, or whether your business. Let's talk about for any consumers out there, you know, what do they need to know about this, especially if they're going to a, a local restaurant or maybe the grocery store? For sure. Um, I mean, the good news, Jamie, is that there's a lot of alternatives already in play right now. Um, I mean, it's not really, honestly, it's six items and it's not actually going to affect us on a personal consumer level really at all. Um, what it will do, however, is keep uh, I think in 10 years, it'll keep 1 million garbage bags of plastic out of the landfill. Um, so I think what, it, what you really kind of need to understand is that we just can't be importing, buying or exporting plastic bags, straws, um, styrofoam, you know, containers and things like that anymore. Um, which honestly, do we really need? <laughs> There, absolutely. I mean, we know that, uh, you know, single use plastics are, are contributing to, you know, filling those landfills and all too often we see plastics uh, floating in our waters. Uh, but, you know, if you're a business owner and you're, you rely on those things, you've been using them for many years, you know, what's the alternative for, for the business owners? And is it going to cost them more money uh, to replace those single plastics with something else? So super great question and, and, and a huge misconception, actually. So take, for example, business owners that use plastic bags. Well, there are recycled paper bag alternatives. Um, you can also encourage your customers to bring their own bags, um, thus eliminating all of that waste. Um, think about paper straws. Um, if you can buy them in greater quantities, um, they can be a little bit more um, affordable for business owners. But again, I mean, you use a straw on average for one minute while you're drinking your drink. Um, it's time to start thinking outside the box. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's time to actually start being responsible for what you're consuming. Oh, when it comes to, you know, taking this back to the business owner, if they've been purchasing these, you know, very inexpensive plastic forks and knives for their takeout, and they might have to replace it with something that, uh, you know, might be a recycled item that might be a little bit more expensive, wouldn't that cost get passed down to the consumer? So maybe, yes. I mean, it's like with anything, the more common this way of life becomes, the more affordable it's going to be. Uh, this way, all of these different types of um, processes will be put into place to make these more accessible to the business owner. And then therefore, it, it, it actually makes the customer more aware of what they're consuming. So again, I never personally, I never go to a restaurant um, that I know is going to have takeaway cutlery without my own cutlery. So there's bamboo cutlery, there's wheat straw cutlery, there's, you know, people can bring their own cutlery, period. Mm -hmm. There's so many different ways. I think, Jamie, what it's time for is to start thinking differently. We need to change the way we consume everything, the way we purchase, the way we eat, the way we drink, everything. Jackie Rush, the founder of the Keep Refillery. We appreciate your time. Thank you so much for this chat.